Now we see here that to solve the lab, we will need to find the exposed API documentation and delete Carlos. And here you can see that there's different endpoints that we can refer to find API documentation. We have a slash API, slash swagger, index HTML, slash open API, JSON, all these different possibilities to try and find API documentation. Be thorough, start from top to bottom. So let's go ahead and try the first one over on our lab. We have a slash API. So coming over here, I will simply add on to our URL slash API. And of course, as all courses and academies are, typically they're not too difficult as long as you follow the instructions and actually read the material. You can see that we have found three different ways that we can interact with this API. Notice that on the user route, if we send in a parameter of the username with a get method, we would be able to get information on that user. And then we could also delete users if we sent a delete method in our HTTP request and even update the user's email. Okay, so let me go ahead and come back to the shop. Let's go to my account. Let me log in as Wiener with Peter as the password. And using our API documentation, we can gather more information on our user profile using this route here. So slash API slash user slash wiener. And by default, when I send this request, it will be a git method. Sending in the requests, we actually see some JSON data being sent back with the username and the email. This makes me curious because what if we were to change the parameter that the API is using to process my request? So here we see we're looking to delete Carlos. Okay, so we know another username. Let's go ahead and try Carlos. And sure thing, we are now able to see the username and email of Carlos. 